From both the ESPN and the Walt Disney Company point of view, we do believe the horse has left the stable in terms of us looking at audience buying on linear. So both at ESPN and with our partners at ABC and Freeform, we're thinking about a couple of different product lines. We've been in the linear optimization space for a while, so we optimize our schedules for our marketers based on the strategic targets they're looking for. We're also beginning to look at what addressable looks and feels like for our audiences. And in 18 and 19, we're going to be experimenting with a couple of different ways that we can work with addressable partners um, to actually target at the household level. So we're excited about that. In addition, at ESPN, we have a couple of products that focus on, um, there's a, a lovely OTT product uh, that I'm really excited about called ReTV, which essentially takes what we're doing on OTT, which is completely measurable from a digital perspective, and then retargets those messages uh, across our really wide digital footprint, which is fairly unique. Um, and then we have a product where we actually do something called reactive TV, when we know something big is happening in sports, for example, and we're beginning to look at this at ABC as well, we can actually work with our marketers to build a program around it. For example, someone's going to hit you know, their 10,000 home run or someone's going to play their 500th game. We can actually build a set of notions around that that sort of jibes with the marketers' needs. I wanted to ask uh, about Can, and you guys are going back, but it's a unique, it's a new, new time for you, a big sort of uh, integrated offering. Um, what's sort of the... Um, maybe the role, if you will, uh, of your team in Cannes this year? Disney certainly has a lot to say at Cannes this year. I think uh, we recently announced a reorganization uh, of our sales teams, our technology teams, our direct-to-consumer business, and our international business under Kevin Mayer, who was the chief strategy officer of Disney and now is focused on looking at our media groups across the organization. As part of that, ABC and ESPN Freeform have been talking about how we are now open for business as a one-stop shop, something that is new for our marketers and something that we will want to re-engage with, with both the press community, the ad technology community, and certainly the marketer and agency community in Cannes. And what do you expect the conversation to be for you, but also in the industry around TV um, as we get together in a couple of weeks? I think you know, our CEO, Bob Iger, has always talked about the fact that we focus on creating the best content in the world. I think now that we've actually put them together and allowed the sales teams and the technology teams to talk about how the Walt Disney Company operates as a platform from a media perspective, a lot of the conversations we'll be having in Cannes will be around that notion where, for the first time, we're actually able to execute against it, not only through this upfront season, but as we look out to the years ahead. One just follow-up. Could you explain the retargeting um, opportunities, what that means, what that looks like, and the value to brands? Certainly. So um, I think there are two rather unique products simply because in this particular case, ESPN has unique scale across OTT, digital, and linear. So we said OTT viewing is a very TV-like experience, but the nice part about it is that it's digitally measurable and addressable. So essentially, if we know somebody, for example, has seen a 30-second spot on OTT, we can then take that notion, take that audience, and sequentially target them with digital advertising across the ESPN um, digital portfolio. As part of sort of our integration more broadly with the Walt Disney Company, we're now looking to see how we do that broadly across all of the Walt Disney Company properties. What's the implications uh, for, for advertisers and consumers? I think there's two implications. One, we can actually take a 30-second TV brand spot and then connect it to a series of digital notions that can actually do something as complex as sequential advertising to a single viewer, allowing them, in some cases, to actually make use of new format types. So we can take a 30-second spot and do a series of sixes uh, against that same audience member uh, across our digital networks. And we found that actually has a really positive impact uh, based on uh, research we've done as well as with partners we've worked with. Cool. And um, looking out the next year or so, where do you hope the industry goes uh, in terms of your work and a little bit of sort of uh, the roadmap ahead? Yeah, I, I mean, from, from the Walt Disney Company and ESPN's point of view, it feels like we are in a, in a supremely interesting position as far as the industry is concerned. We have a unique footprint across linear, across mobile, across digital, and now we have gone squarely into the direct-to-consumer market with the launch of ESPN+, Plus, uh, our DTC service for sports fans. So we feel like we have a pulse on kind of how consumers are consuming media. We're allowing them to access it in all the ways that we think are important. And side by side, we're creating a series of new ways to address 
what they're thinking and how they're feeling for our marketers. So the Walt Disney Company in general really addresses life stage across the consumer's life cycle, whether it's you know when they're fairly young, all the way through to whether they're going to sports or, look, or, or into more sort of entertainment-based viewing. We have a point of view on how they interact with us. And then when we think about the information we're gathering from our real life experiences, so the work we're doing with our parks group or our cruises group, um, and we're beginning to think about how all those experiences come together for our consumers. We really have a unique point of view uh, uh, on how our consumers sort of live, and we allow our marketers to tap into that uh, as much as we can.